a 66 years uh, man who has a ruptured echo aneurysm and the GCS is poor after the ruptured aneurysm because the subarachnoid hemorrhage and uh, we are going to do a anterior communicating artery aneurysm well consistent calling for this patient today. The angiogram uh, demonstrates a ruptured anterior communicating artery and specifically uh, this is uh, opacified from the left internal carotid artery and this aneurysm is uh, pointing upwards and rear. We plan for a balloon assisted coiling. So navigated uh, hyperform 4 into 7 millimeter across the neck of the aneurysm. So we can see the hyperform 47 which is navigated just across the neck of the aneurysm and placed uh, right at the neck. So we will navigate a uh, coiling catheter that is Essilon and Expedion across and uh, put it into the dome of the, uh, dome of the aneurysm and start coil. Uh, this is the first coil going uh, across nicely. I've just pulled the balloon little back uh, to allow the coil to go nicely and uh, this is after the detachment of uh, the first coil. Uh, this we see the angiogram after multiple coils uh, with the balloon assistance into the anterior communicating artery. So now we can see the aneurysm is completely occluded with the coil and its fluorescence are fine, so it's excluded from the circulation. And this is how we do our balloon assistance coiling for a ruptured, like a ruptured intracranial aneurysm.